With a $130 million budget gap looming over Baltimore City schools, the biggest programs at one school are on the chopping block. And now the issue is getting some high profile attention from Baltimore's own actor Josh Charles. WJZ is live. Devin Bartolotta has more on what's at stake for the city's art school. Devin? Denise, the Baltimore School for the Arts has a long list of notable alumni, including Tupac, Jada Pinkett Smith, and of course, Josh Charles. And now they're worried some of their flagship programs are on the chopping block. Programs at the Baltimore School for the Arts are in danger thanks to city schools' $130 million budget gap. We wouldn't look the same at all. Um, the arts programs would suffer massive changes. School director Chris Ford hoping big name alumni could put the issue in the spotlight. Baltimore native Josh Charles, famous for his role in The Good Wife, tweeting seven times, saying once, quote, I'm a proud product of Baltimore School for the Arts and Baltimore City Schools. Art is kind of, that's my thing, that's what I've been doing since pretty much forever. Junior Sequoia Joseph also hopes to make a career in the arts, but the deficit would mean pairing 90 arts teachers down to just 15. Now, if forced to gut that part-time staff that teaches things like visual arts, acting, and dance, students would go from four hours of arts training per day to just one. It would just be like any other high school, and that's not what we are. We're a special, special place. Real lives, real future. Parents, teachers, and students have rallied in support of school funding for all schools. Mayor Catherine Pugh recently announced a partial funding plan could help, but still not enough to fully fund next year. What I said to the finance department was that I was looking under every, um, you know, in every nook and cranny that we could find to provide support for our school system. The school is hoping that either lawmakers or the governor will intervene before session closes on April 10th. Live at school headquarters, I'm Devin Bartolotta, WJZ Eyewitness News. Thank you, Devin. The school anticipates other notable alumni will follow voicing their concerns online in the near future.